G'day. Guess what I've got in my hands? Ta-ra! That's a pair of rear trailing arm bushes for a Mark IV Ford Mondeo. Before I even bother fitting these bushes, I'm going to show you something which is really important and your decision on which one you purchase will depend how quick you get the job done. So let's have a little look, shall we? Both these bushes look the same, okay, but they're not. They couldn't be any further apart if they tried. Anyhow, this one here is an aftermarket bush that you'd buy from a motor factors. If you can see the texture of that metal, it's quite matte finish and rough. I've lived it. They don't fit very well. You'll end up grinding them and I don't know what, putting them in the bin and giving up. Now take a look at this bush. Look at the metal. It's shiny and smooth. Because this bush comes from Ford Motor Company. I'm not saying they're selling better parts, but I can tell you for now, the bushes that you buy from the Ford dealer actually fit. The bushes that you buy from Motor Factors with this matte rough finish, monkey metal, don't fit. And by the way, the ones that you buy from the Ford main dealers now, they're quite a reasonable price. This tool is made by a company called First Line. It's been a good tool and it does the job. However, I'm going to point out, I would not use this tool to remove the bushes. Look how rusty that bush is. And it is highly likely you are gonna strip the threads on this tool trying to remove the bushes from the arm. So I suggest removing the bush from the arm by other means, namely an air chisel if you've got one. However, when you are refitting the bushes, put plenty of oil on the threads, and that way you're gonna protect these threads from getting stripped. These rear trailing arm bushes are handed for either side. Now I'm changing both sides on this car, but I'm obviously only gonna show you one side because there's not much point me showing you both sides, is there? So first up, there are two seven mil screws on this arm, which hold your handbrake into position. You'll need to remove both them screws. Your shock absorber bottom bolt, and there's a little steady bar bolt here. It'd be advisable to clean the thread up with a wire brush and put some freeing oil on them on them threads, it'll make them come out easier. With our two 7mm screws removed, which hold our handbrake cable onto this arm, we can now pull the handbrake just out of the way and let it hang there. These two clips that hold the loom to the arm need to be removed. 13mm nut, which holds your brake hose bracket onto the arm, needs to be removed as well. And then you can just pull that bracket just off the stud for the time being. There is another clip which holds this wiring loom onto the chassis rail. We just want to pull that out as well. And now our wiring loom can dangle. It will help to put a stand underneath the bottom arm. And we'll jack this up just a little bit, just so that the shock absorber is not at its full travel. 15 mil bolt that secures the whole suspension arm to this little swinging arm, we'll remove now. <laughs> Well, because I'm doing both sides, I'm going to lower this subframe down a little bit. So I'm going to stick a support underneath this subframe. To lower this subframe down a little bit, I'm going to take both of these rear subframe 15mm bolts out. And then I'm going to loosen the 15mm bolt on our little swinging arm. You can just pry that little swinging arm out of the way and it'll just hang there. And now we can remove our shock absorber lower bolt. The two bolts that hold the front of our suspension arm to the chassis, we can just whack out now. And now I can just let our subframe down and that will bring our suspension arm down to a manageable level. There's a brake hose fixed in the arm. So we'll just pop that out. Unclip your brake pipe from the arm as well, just so it's hanging free. To get the inner bit out, you can twist it and break the center part out one way or another. Then you can chisel or cut a slot 
through the outer casing and then knock the bush out. But I've got a quicker way of getting it out. Roger that. Now I'm ready. There you go. One bush removed. God, I feel better now. <laughs> if you've created any burrs on the metal around the arm where the bush goes in, just give it a clean up. Just clean up all inside where this, uh, this new bush is going to have to fit. It will make it go in a lot easier. Before I put the new bush back into this arm, notice there's a little cutout just here. Just keep this plate level with that cutout. The cutout here is going to fit into where our handbrake cable clips into our arm. So I'll just fit this tool onto the arm now and I'll let that hang there. You see it's a lot easier if you had two people doing this but by yourself it's just a bit of a juggling act. So once our tool is all leveled up on this bush ready to push it in I strongly recommend putting some grease or some oil on the bush and also make sure you put plenty of oil on the threads of this tool because like I said these threads can strip quite easily if you're not careful. You're using a 21mm socket and a nice long bar you can now just wind the tool and that will push the bush into the arm and once this bush protrudes out of the other side of our arm, it only wants to be two millimetres, maybe three at the most. Anyway, what the heck, once our bush is fitted, we can now undo our tool and remove it. I'm now going to raise our subframe back up and refit our brake hose. Raise your jack up a little bit and that will bring the arm further up. Now you can push your arm up the rest of the way with your hand and refit your two 18 mil bolts. You'll know I'm not tightening nothing up properly until all the bolts are in. Pop our lower shock absorber bolt back into position and our little swinging arm will just tap that back into position so the holes line up. Put in free in oil on the threads of your bolts is always an advantage. Stick our bolt back in, tap that through and then get it started on the threads. Right, let's stick them subframe bolts back into position. I right, now just whack all the bolts up nice and tight. Don't forget 13 mil brake hose bracket. We don't need this no more. You can move this one out of the way as well now. And refit your wiring loom. Clip your brake pipe back into position both sides. And them cables will slot in. And refit your two 7mm screws to hold your handbrake. Ta-ra! Done. So that's it then. Job done. Oh, the bandage on the wrist. I just don't know how that happened. Anyhow, farewell, Bush. Well, that's me done for the day. See ya. <laughs>